Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your fellow sneakerhead, Don South Player, 713, coming back with another unboxing. Uh, actually, kind of excited for this one. Um, we'll see what it is right now. I'll show you how they like it. <clears throat> now, I had a pair of these at one point, but I kind of changed them, I guess you could say. They're not there what they used to be. So I figured it was time to get a new pair. So, you'll see what I'm talking about in a <clears throat> So I picked these up from the local sneaker group, uh, Society. Uh, the seller actually had a pretty good price on them, and I jumped on it. Uh, I think retail for these was in the 250 mark, with taxes came out to 270. So he was selling them for 155. So I had to jump on them real quick. As you can see, nice, real nice packaging, nice little bubble wrap, uh, and another bubble wrap here, protect the shoe box. So real, real, real nice packaging. So let's get into the shoe. Kind of roll it inside to see them. Wow, he really went a lot in the packaging. Half the stuff on eBay doesn't even come like this. And you think for 150, he tried to save money on shoes, on shipping. And now he did real good on them. There we go. There we go. As you can see, it's going to be a LeBron EXT model, LeBron 10. Uh, LeBron 10 EXTs were actually real dope. Um, I'm happy to have. I had I had, I had them all except the corks. And uh, I needed a pair of these again. Let's see what we have. I'll clean and put more bubble wrap inside the shoe. Uh, let's see what we got. Check them out. <coughs> got your extra set of laces, which is always nice. So, would you get everything? So, then we have a receipt too. We have. A foot locker receipt, which is a plus. And there we go, the actual LeBron EXT mint. And he described them as very near dead stock. Maybe worn once or twice. And yeah, that's exactly what they look like. He did mention this one little scuff, but I don't even consider that a flaw to be honest. Um real nice. And of course they're authentic. You can just check out the bottom of their unit. You see all the pin, the pin cushionings. So real dope right there. And then we have the other shoe, same thing. And this one seems also good condition, worn good condition. And like I was telling y'all, it's actually my second time picking the shoe up. I kind of needed to uh, get this shoe because of what I did to the other one. As you can see, I kind of went ahead and changed it, I customized this one. Uh, that's what it looks like originally and this is what the custom um, I liked the idea to the custom I just didn't like the execution on, on, on the other pair I'm um, going so to show you real quick it's kind of going off topic but <clears throat> this one I, was, I wasn't I was too thrilled how this one came out for some reason the splatter came out a little fatter and uh, there was actually damage done to the suede when I first picked them up I believe uh, when he taped them up, he used the wrong tape. So I actually left marks of the actual glue residue all on the shoe. You can actually see like the actual lines like from the tape where he tried uh, to, to take it off. And I guess he got water and a brush and started scrubbing it. But all that did was turn the feel of the suede to like rubber. And uh, for a while we are going back and forth how he's going to fix it. And eventually uh, I guess he gave him to a professional because... The, when I got them back, they actually feel like right now they feel like suede again. But as you can see, the damage is already done to the material. This is what it looked like at one point, nice and fluffy, and now it looks like this, which is better than what it was. But as you can see, it's a big difference. I mean, there's just a big difference. Look, because your swoosh right here looks like rubber. Right here, you can actually feel the texture. And um, right here is the only part I think he didn't get wet, because you can see right here it's all rolling still. Uh, nice and dark fluffy still and right here is all of the damage that the guy did to him so there you go some food for thought here do a custom make sure you know who you're taking them to uh just for information i got these done by uh creative movement customs i'm not trying to blast them or anything but that's who did them and um i wasn't 100 satisfied to be honest i gave them to him a dead stock pair and he kind of messed up this shoe and i felt like a brand new shoe kind of went to waste so 
nonetheless, <coughs> when I take pictures, I just show this one. This one came out pretty nice, but this one kind of fucked up. There you go. Uh, aside from the top, aside from the topic, the LeBron Mint. Thank you for watching. Till next time, Downside Players, 713 out.